Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm making this, um, this really cute vintage um, shabby chic kind of card. I had made a um, another card with the baby bear. Just a very simple, clean um, thing. But he's he's got such a, a, a vintage look to him that I decided I'd do a shabby chic card also. And on the front it says, Love you very much. And then, Welcome to the World. So I did it as a baby card. But of course you could do... Um, you know, love you very, very much. Uh, make it kind of a Valentine's or it's just a any day for your sweetie card. So this is what we're using. I've got a piece of Whisper White here and it's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored and folded four and a quarter. That's our card base. Um, I've got, you'll need like another half a sheet of Whisper White because you need to cut out um, four hearts for the front and I used the um, Sweet and Sassy Framelits dies and I used what what I call the in my mind the wonky hearts but I guess they're the sassy ones and um, I used all of them except for the two smallest and the largest Okay, so I used those. I've already cut those out to save a little bit of time here in the video. Of course, there's the other pieces we'll need to be for the for the card of the Whisper White. And then from the Coffee Break Designer Series paper, I have a piece here, and it's three and three quarters by five inches. And that will go on our card front, and it's just a nice wood grain. Um, paper with like little speckles on it and of course we need the baby bear stamp set and I'm using all three of the bears and welcome to the world and love you and very much so those are those are two separate stamps there and my embossing folder that I use is from um, the company Darius. And this is called Vine Pattern. I'm using that. I'm using Rose Red Ink, Pool Party, Sahara Sand, and Soft Suede Inks. I'll need a couple of sponge daubers or make, these are makeup sponges. I like these very much. Tombow glue, we'll need that. Um, I have uh, two pair of scissors out here. I have my little tiny fussy cutting ones and I have this pair out just to do a rough cut around the bear. And also these, this is the um, Tonic Nouveau Embellishment Mousse and this color is the Indian Gold color and we'll need some dimensionals we're going to be using some we're going to pop those up a little bit and then i did give my bear a little bit of shape so i used um oh let's see this is probably a six millimeter let me look at that real quick here uh no more like eight it's like an eight millimeter uh ball stylus but if you don't have these you could use the end of a um, a sharpie that round it round edge or the top on the on the cap and that's it let's get going we'll start with the hearts okay we've got our four hearts here and the two larger ones will be the bottom hearts and then these will go on top like this so these were are, are going to be sponge in the pool party the two largest ones and let me get it just real quick do that
And I'm going very quick here, just trying to save some time. And plus, I know this is probably a little boring to watch, but I haven't figured out how to uh, speed videos up yet. So just bear with me. Get it bare. And normally I would take a little more time and add my color a little slower because you start out start out lightly you can always add color but once it's down it's pretty pretty near impossible to remove it but luckily since this is the shabby chic then um, that's all right and I'm also going to do my card front. And we only have to do around the edges on the card front. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know this must be boring as all get out. I was just watching on the news this morning that the poor people in Texas got hit so bad with the hurricane. I'm in South Florida, so um, we've gotten hit ourselves quite a few times. So I know how it can be. Uh, when, when Wilma came through, we were without electric for um for better part of a month for some reason our little area here didn't didn't um wasn't on the high priority list I guess you go out in my backyard I could look down through the yards and there is not a fence standing, well, except for ours. But we did, when we put ours up, we did it heavy duty. We got one of those, um, oh, um, the plastic, the polyurethane, or not polyurethane, um, polyvinyl or PVC fences, because PVC. And then we poured the posts with concrete. So basically it was a concrete fence or a concrete post fence. I think that's why ours was still standing and most most of the people just use regular wood privacy fences. But trees were down. Oh, it was just a terrible mess. And we didn't even have the water like the, those people are getting. That's kind of scary, you know. We were very fortunate. Okay, so those, all that's done. I can put these ink pads aside. Now our hearts and the front of our card are going to get run through um, how I can do this. I'm bring in my big shot here. And I'm going to run those through with this um, embossing folder. And you remember, remember if you want to emboss, you want to have you want to have the name facing up. I think pretty much all of the embossing folders are that way. That's if you want to emboss. If you want to deboss, then you can um, you could have it the other way. But I'm embossing. Okay. 
Okay, there's those two. This is just standard embossing. I wouldn't have shown it except that um, you have to do the sponging first. And it is there is a little bit of a difference on the on the front of the card. So and that that you may not you may not be familiar with doing that on the front. So what you do is take your card, open it out, and put it in the embossing folder like this. Close that down. Get that in there real well. And then it has to go through your machine this way. So I'm going to put that down like this. Put my other plate on top. And yeah, this is if you're if you're looking at my my bought my plates here for my machine and thinking, is that are those warped or is that just kind of a an optical illusion with the camera no they're warped they're very they've got a definite shape to them <laughs> they still work though and there we go there's the front of our card now is embossed so I can put it the big shot aside. Get that out of here. And we can start putting some of our things together in just a moment. We're going to do the bear next. And we'll start out with Sahara Sand. And where did I put my stamp set? There it is. I'm going to start out with the one that covers the most area. You see, there's no detail in this at all. Take my Sahara Sand. I'll ink that up real well. Then I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to turn my paper over. I'm stamping off so it's a lighter color and there we go so there's our first part of our bear then for the next part there's one like this. It's got quite a bit of the area filled in, but not not um not like the first one. And then here's the last one. You see how much detail there is on the last one. We're saving this one for last. We're gonna use this one next. Let me put that on my stamp pad and we're using the Sahara sand again. I'm not real good at lining up. Let me see how good I can do. If I can do a decent job here for you. There we go. Okay. So now our next layer of stamped. You can see it's starting to get some some depth to the stamp. So that's it for the Sahara sand. Let's get rid of that stamp. And now we'll put, we'll use the, um, the most detailed one. And we'll use the soft suede ink for that. And here comes our third layer. Let me see if I can do it good again. There we go. I think that's I think that's lined up all right okay and there we go look at that 
that just pops. I just like I love that card. I'm gonna close my my soft suede up, but I'm gonna be using that again in a moment. So, so I'm just gonna rough cut the bear. I find this this makes fussy cutting a lot easier if you just kind of do a rough cut first and get rid of the big areas of excess excess paper and then then we'll just fussy cut. We'll get in there and do the the more detailed part. And then we're going to shape it a little bit just along the edges so they they turn in cup in a little, under a little bit. And when you fussy cut, turn your paper as you're cutting. You want to take as long as a stroke with your scissors as possible. I mean, these are little scissors, but you don't want to do like little choppy cuts like that because it just makes your edges jagged. You want nice smooth edges. Almost done with the bear. And there we go. And there are little openings here under his arms, but I'm not going to bother with those. And just take the ball stylus or your Sharpie and just, I've got this on my, um, my silicone mat here and it does have a little bit of cushioning if yours doesn't then put put a little piece of craft foam or something like that underneath and and just use that for your your padding okay so there's the bear and you can see the edges are cupped a little bit All right and I just I don't know, just adds a little something, makes them a little more dimensional. So now we can start, we can do our, um, our, um, sentiment. Let's see, we have to do the one that goes on the front in two sections. The first one is love you. We're using a soft suede. Well, wait, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this or not. Hold on. I'm going to try to put them both on my stamp at the same time. If you have a mini Misty or any of the stamp positioner platform type things, you could probably line it up in, in that. Okay, I'm going to try this. I stamped it on my sample card in two separate sections, but I think this will be all right. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, so there, I'm going to stamp that. And I'll bring my... My trimmer in here. I'm going to trim off the excess after the much. Not with the scoring blade, I won't. There we go. And then I'm going to trim, trim this side down a bit. Oh darn, I had ink on my fingers and smudged it. Well, you know what? Let me do that over again. I'm not putting that on my card. That's nasty. I'm going to grab another little scrap. I've got tons of them. Oh, here's one I probably don't even have to trim down. I'm 
Let me bring my ink back in here. I save all these little strips because these are very very handy, of course, for making these little little banners. There we go. I don't have to do any trimming on that at all. I'm just going to cut this with my scissors. And there's our little Love You Very Much banner for the front. And then on the inside of the card, we're going to put Welcome to the World. Let me peel those off. Yeah, this is how I got the ink on my fingers, peeling stamps off. I'll lay that down because that's a very long one. And just pick it up with my... Did you see what I did? I don't think so. I think it was off screen here. I laid it down my table with the printing side down. The stamping side down. And I just picked it up like that. And then you know... If you have a nice, long, narrow um, stamp like this, or stems, or anything like that, uh, if, you, if you lay it on your table and pick it up with your stamp that way, it will be perfect. If you try to lay it on the top, there's a chance you're going to get um, make it curved at least a little bit. Okay, so... We'll line that up here. And there we go. Now we're ready to put the card front together. I can get rid of this ink before I get more ink on my fingers. We'll get our Tombow. Oh, we've got to put our gold on. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. This stuff is pretty cool. I I got this just to see how how it works. And I've used it as a um you know to rub on things, um, to do like a little blending with it with a couple different colors of it. And I've used it um as you can actually use it like an embossing paste. And the videos that I've watched say you can use it for water coloring but let me tell you it's like no water coloring I ever saw it's like it's more it's more like thin down acrylics so I'm not I'm not thrilled about with their the watercolor claims and we're just gonna rub the gold on there mostly we want to get mostly on the the embossing But if it gets on the background, that's that's okay too, because th this stencil actually has a pretty open pattern, and it's almost impossible not to get it on the background too. But done that you see and it's it's shabby chic so it's okay if you have a little bit more here or a little bit less there and we're going to do all of our hearts the same way and if you don't like getting messy as you can see I've got I've got it all over my fingers then Get yourself a pair of rubber gloves and do this. Okay, that's two of the hearts down. On these, you mostly need to get around the edges on the, the two um, larger um, pool party 
hearts because that center part is going to be covered with the, uh, the pink ones, the rose red ones. And then I did go all around the edge of the bear. Just a real quick little little something something extra on the bear. As soon as I get him done, it's time to time to clean my fingers with a baby wipe, I think. I always keep baby wipes around. Not just because I, I take care of my my grandson. He's like seven months old and he is quite the little pip already. And good Lord help me when he learns to walk. He's got one of those little scooter chairs. He loves that little scooter thing. And scoots all over the place and He just goes around, sees what he can get into. <laughs> he needs to be watched very carefully, let me tell you. Okay, so on the pink hearts, the rose red hearts, we're going to put some Tombow glue on the back. And we'll put those on top of the pool party ones. So you want to put the larger of the small hearts on the larger of the big hearts and then the smaller of the small hearts on the smaller of the large hearts. Did you follow that? I think you'll figure it out. And there we go. So those are glued together. it for the glue for the moment. I'll cap that and somewhere around here I have my little embossing or not my embossing, my dimensionals. Oh dear, what did I do with them? Oh, there they are. There they are. So, the, um, the larger heart is going to be put down with Tombow glue. But first we'll put this on. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the edge of this. <gasps> I cleaned up and, and everything already. Okay. So I have my designer paper. And just, I just didn't want sharp little corners. So I just took my scissors and just trimmed off just a tiny little bit. I didn't even round them. I just clipped off that, just a tiny bit of that corner. Just so it wasn't pointy. So now I have to go back and do this again. And I'm just kind of smearing it. Getting a little on the edge there. Just getting a little gold on the edge. You might think this is a lot of gold, but this is such a nice, um, subtle shine. It's not like, um, like glitter, like in your face glitter. It's just a subtle shine. But it's really, it's not overwhelming, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Okay and clean my finger off again. So let's put our piece of designer paper down. Oh, and if you can, can guess, this, it dries when you're using it as a rub, as you're, if you're rubbing it on or stenciling it on. Um, you can use a stencil brush with it also, if you're using a stencil and um, it dries pretty quickly. Now if you're going to use it like an embossing paste, this um, embellishment mousse, it does take a little bit longer to dry because it's a thicker coat of it. 
Okay, so now I have my larger heart here. I'll put some Tombow on the back. And that will that will just go down up here. I'm going to keep that inside the edges of your card. Let's see. I have it pretty close to the edge, but I'm not going off the edge because you want it to be able to fit into an envelope. Okay, then my smaller heart, I'm going to put it about right here. And I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. So, put a bunch of those on here. Let's see. I think I need one out there yet. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of those. And that will go at an angle like this. And again, you want to keep the edge of it inside the edge of your card. And then our little bear will go right down the bottom here. And we're using dimensionals on him. We did shape him a little bit. We want him to retain that... Um, that cupped edge, that cup to the the um, back bit there. We'll pull those off. We're almost done with the card. We'll put him right here. And again, to make sure that he doesn't go off the edge of the card. He can go off the edge of this wood um, designer paper. That's okay, but not the edge of the card. Okay, and then we have our banner. On the edge here, he's, this is going to go in here just like this. On this edge right here, we're going to put a dimensional. Let me make sure, okay. I'm going to put one right there. And then over here, this is the part that's going to go on the bear, which is popped up already. We'll put a little bit of Tombow glue. And there we go. So all finished. So I hope you enjoyed um, this video and I hope you make this card because I think it's really cute and make a, a really nice baby, a welcome, welcome baby cut type of card. So if you liked it, then be sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of my videos, then hit subscribe. If um, there are any Stampin' Up! products that you'd like to purchase, then you can do that either through my Facebook page or my website. And as always, I'll have all the materials listed down below that you'll need to make this card. So, y'all, take care, stay safe, and happy stampin'.